wildfire disaster in Maui and the death toll climbing overnight as crews race to find the hundreds of people still missing and questions grow about the initial response to the flames. Wood Johnson has the latest from Maui. Good morning, Wood. Robin, good morning. Even near burned out buildings like this one, the threat is not over. These fires are not fully contained. We've seen hot spots break out, water dropping helicopters making the rounds overhead. This emergency still unfolding, even as the scale of this tragedy and the heartbreak is still coming into focus. This morning, Maui's grim new milestone, now the deadliest wildfire disaster in modern U.S. history. The wind whipped inferno claiming the lives of at least 96 people. This as we're hearing more harrowing stories of survival. 19 year old Noah Tompkinson waiting in the water for five hours beside his mother and younger brother. You're going to be okay, Milo. Doing anything they could to escape the flames. We're through the worst of it. We're going to be okay. But the fire taking the life of Carol Hartley. She was beautiful. She was beautiful in her own way. She had a heart of gold, and she cared about other people more than herself. And that was always, she was always that way. Donna Hartley says her sister Carol was attempting to flee when she was separated from her husband. The winds are so vicious, and so he couldn't see in front of him. And he said, Carol, run, Carol, run. And he heard her scream. Go, Charles, go, go, Charles. And he kept, you know, back and forth so they could hear. And he said he eventually didn't hear her no more. And he didn't know how far he had run. He had told her, run to the water. Go, baby, go, go to the water. And so he thought that that was an understood plan. And this morning, we're learning 68-year-old Franklin Trejos died after staying behind, trying to save his home and help others. Unimaginable loss, and with hundreds still unaccounted for, are Will Carr going to one of the family assistance centers. So many hoping for answers, like Benny Kaluuya, flying in from the mainland, looking for his 98-year-old aunt. What was the last you heard? She was at the senior center in Lahaina. Being evacuated? Yes, it also burned down. Now, growing frustration and questions about why warnings were never sent out. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency confirming the island's comprehensive siren systems, often used to warn of possible tsunamis, were not activated. There's a lot of information that people want, and to that end, I've authorized a comprehensive review of what happened in the early hours of the fire and the hours thereafter. The New York Times reporting firefighters in Lahaina found fire hydrants empty, forcing them to make treacherous rescue missions. Oh. The violent winds seen in this video taken before the fires began, rocking power lines from their foundations, lines eventually snapping. For so many who survived that horrific night, emotions still raw. Your heart still aches for the people left behind. Oh, yeah. I think, um, you know, Lahaina was a really magical, beautiful town. I walked to work every day. I was able, I used to say, people would ask me, how are you, how are you, Lisa? And I said, I'm living in paradise. Lisa Peroni taking these photos of the flames roaring into Lahaina as she raced to get out. Her boyfriend, Jeff Tremper, was traveling on the mainland and desperate to get back home. I was getting text messages saying, front street's on fire, everything's on fire, Lahaina is burning right now. Their home is now gone. But they are reunited and finding strength in the Aloha spirit. There is a spirit here that I've never experienced anywhere else in the world. And I've lived in a lot of different places. And I feel like that is growing and is becoming stronger. This community is so resilient, but people are calling for accountability. Already, at least one class action lawsuit has been filed accusing the power companies of leaving their power lines energized, even though they knew there was a risk of high fire danger. Hawaiian Electric telling us they cannot comment on pending litigation and that the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Robin. People really want to know, and we know that you have a connection a special connection to Hawaii, and we so appreciate your reporting all weekend long and this morning as well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.